Hey, it's Frankie Widows here and today I am going to do a video about what are the best volume tweezers because it is a question that I see asked all the time. So I'm going to explain to you what type of tweezer is going to suit you because there is no one tweezer out there that is going to suit everybody because they are all designed completely differently. So first of all, before I start and get onto the practical bit, um, let me tell you a little bit about myself very quickly. I am the CEO and founder of Eyelash Excellence, which is a supply store where I supply high quality products to the lash industry, work with many products over the years, mostly that I was unhappy with. So set about trying to find good products that were great. Uh, and now I work with them myself and I train my students on them because you cannot lash if you're working with poor products. I am also a lash trainer. So I travel across the globe when we're not in COVID lockdowns and train students. Um, I'm also a judge. So again, travel across the globe, judging at some of the top competitions and guest speaking at lash events as well as a product developer so it takes me back to products i like sourcing products i like inventing products and that takes us nicely on to talking about tweezers and how they work and what are the best ones for volume so of course i do sell tweezers and you're going to see some of the tweezers that i sell in the video today and as you are watching this video we are going to be giving you a 30 percent discount code off all of our tweezers if you like what you see and you'd like to purchase some just go to the shop which is eyelash excellence the link is below and i've got links to the products below that you're going to be seeing in this video and at checkout use the discount code tweezers 30 and that will give you 30 percent discount code off those tweezers now it cannot be used in conjunction with any other offer but you're still getting a massive 30 percent off those tweezers and that's just a thank you from us for watching our video now of course i'm going to sound very biased because they are my brand but i've tested a lot of tweezers over the years and i test tweezers every month and only bring onto my shop what work you know some of them are too long tips and they don't grab properly some of them aren't very precise some of them are too stiff some of them are too heavy some of them are too light so what we have on the shop is the tweezers that are the best to work with through hours and hours of testing we also hand test every single tweezer a lot of people think this is a lie trust us we do it is the most boring thing in the world we get like a batch of like 500 of them at a time and we have to sit and we have to test them but it just means that you know that you are getting the best Best quality tweezers that do actually work because there's nothing worse than having a graveyard full of tweezers that nobody can use. Right, boring stuff over, let's get into the video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of volume tweezers that we have available to us. Now guys, it is a complete minefield when it comes to tweezers and what suits one artist is never going to suit another artist. And you will see this on the forums of people recommending a tweezer. One person loves it, another person hates it. So unfortunately, there really is no shortcut to finding the perfect tweezer. We're all different. So we're all going to like different tweezers and the only way to find out what you like is literally to buy them and give them a go. And you will, over your career, end up having this drawer of tweezers that you've bought and you hate and you'll find the select few that you actually really like. So let's start from left to right talking about the tweezers that we've got available to us here. Now this first one is quite a new one on the industry. It's been around for a couple of years now but I only introduced it last year. I had seen it first of all but I was never that impressed and then I resampled them and really liked this. Now this is called the S-Shape Tweezer and it's quite a strange looking tweezer but actually I really like this tweezer because it's actually really balanced it feels like a really nice quality tweezer as you can see it looks nice as well it's got a lovely sharp tip on it which I love because it allows you to fan the lashes out nicely which I think you actually need in volume some other tweezers have a blunt tip on that and then you struggle to actually manipulate the lashes it's actually got a pretty good head on it so your sweet spot is quite large and it sits at a nice angle so when you hold your hand in a natural position like this it does create a nice angle for you so this is actually one of the tweezers that I now train my beginners on because it's it's really nice and delicate and yeah I just I just really like it so I have got a video on YouTube on this if you want to check it out and see how it will work with it but yeah it's a nice tweezer so that guys is another option that you've got for you the next tweezer we've got is not my personal favourite, but I used to train beginners on it. And the reason being is because it's a very forgiving tweezer. Now we call this the axe tweezer or the boot tweezer because it looks like 
wearing a boot pretty much. It's quite a robust tweezer. Now I'm actually very light handed. If you see my hand, I'm actually quite creative with my hands. Like when I hold things, I'm very light handed. So this tweezer for me is not a great tweezer because of this reason. I struggle with it a little bit. Do you know what? Some people absolutely love this tweezer. It is good the fact that it's got a big head on it. So it's actually got a really, really large sweet spot, which is why it's great for beginners because it's so much more forgiving. It's quite a heavy tweezer. It's quite a stiff tweezer, but that's why it's good for beginners to volume because beginners are quite clumsy with their hands. So you need more of a robust tweezer that's actually gonna put up with a clumsy lash artist that's just going to sort of push them and do that so again another one that you've got available to you and it really is just a case of having a go and seeing if this tweezer works for you the next one we've got is our Orion tweezer I developed this tweezer as a sister tweezer to my original Polaris tweezer which I don't actually have here at the moment now this is actually quite similar to the Dumont that we've got over here but we developed this for the heavy handed lash artist so I love a Dumont it's a very delicate tweezer which I'll talk about in a minute but it doesn't usually work for beginners especially because most beginners are heavy handed so we introduced this type of tweezer which is very very similar but it's slightly more robust so this will actually put up with a beginner or a heavy handed lash artist it will be less likely to twist and lose precision it's actually a nice tweezer it's nice and balanced it's just it feels really really nice in your hand it's got a nice grip on it we have a little bit at the end here for a lanyard if you want to be able to put that through there if you're somebody that likes to drop your tweezers um but yeah another tweezer that we've got available as you can see it's got quite a nice angled head on it i like the fact that it's got this cut out here it allows you to get into the lash line much easier but yeah another good tweezer now this is the Dumont. This is my absolute favorite tweezer for me. This is the Concorde or the Ferrari of all tweezers, but not everybody likes it. Go onto forums, you'll see some people raving about it and you'll see other people that absolutely hate it. It's a very, very light tweezer. It's a very soft tweezer. This means that you can very, very easily destroy the tips on this. The great thing about this tweezer for me is that because the metal is so soft, it's like laying in a memory foam mattress. So when you have a very, very soft metal, if you have a fan and your tweezer metal is very, very soft, it will mold around the lashes, a bit like laying on a memory foam mattress and your body molds into it. Whereas when you have a stiff tweezer, it doesn't mold. So if that's your fan, it will just do that. Can you see how it's not got a great bond? So when you work with a less quality steel like this one here, you won't get a brilliant, brilliant grab, I suppose. It will work with 0.07s, but if you start going up to thinner lashes, it doesn't really work. Whereas when you have a flexible tweezer, like a Dumont, and you work with thinner lashes, it will literally, like I said, it will mold around the lashes like that and give you a better bond. Now, like I said, this will only work if you are a light-handed technician like I am. If you are heavy-handed, you will destroy this tweezer within about 10 minutes. And the way you can tell if you're heavy-handed is just pick a few things up, guys. So yeah, if you're not sure, just pick up some things. And if you're somebody, I'm not gonna do it with tweezers because I'll destroy them. If you're somebody that tends to just be like, then you know you're heavy-handed. Well, if you're somebody that tends to you have more of a delicate hand and when you hold things you can see that you're a lot more delicate that's a really good way of telling you whether you're heavy handed or soft handed and I can now identify students when they come into my classes as to what they're like with their hands and what type of tweezers going to suit them so this is an advanced tweezer I don't train my beginners on it because it has a very very small sweet spot so on a doom on your sweet spot is literally sit either right right at the very tip or it's off the tip about a millimeter but it's literally a, just about here and here. It's so tiny. So when you're a beginner, and sometimes your fan's here, and sometimes your fan's here, and sometimes your fan's here, this is not gonna work for you. Whereas this one would do, because you've got a larger head on it. Whereas when you're more experienced, and you know exactly where your sweet spot is, and you can consistently pick a fan up in that sweet spot, this is gonna work. So I always say to students, look, start off when you make more basic tweezers, and then when you get more experienced in volume, that's when you can then start going up to the more expensive, more advanced tweezer but don't start it off to start off with because you will either ruin tweezers or you just will have wasted all of that money on them 
The other last important point about volume tweezers is that you will never buy one pair the same as the other. As a supplier, this is a real problem that I have, and it's a thing that a lot of people don't understand. So what happens is they buy, for example, a Dumont, and they fall in love with that Dumont, and they buy another one, and the sweet spot is set slightly differently, and then they're not happy. The problem is, is these are all hand-finished. And when they're hand finished, you are going to get a different finish from every single one. So although we hand test all of our tweezers before they go out, and that's another reason why you can come and buy from us with confidence, because you know you're going to get a tweezer that works because it's been hand tested, and a lot of them do fail. But when they're hand finished, they're never going to be the same. So you're never going to be able to buy one tweezer that's like the other. So this is why it's so important to look after that tweezer, because if you drop it, you are not going to get another one the same. It's just impossible. It really is. And I wish that, and all of us suppliers wish that we could give you a standard tweezer that has the same consistency, but it cannot because every single one is hand finished. So please, please, please look after your tweezer because once that tweezer is destroyed, you're going to really struggle to find another one that's exactly like that if you've fallen in love with that tweezer.